Hey there Facebook, it is Vanessa here again, your motivational speaker, trainer and head coach from Live Love Give. And today I've got a message that is all about the fact that your games are gaming you. And the reason why I wanted to jump into this one is because um, I've been having so many conversations recently around the topic of relationship and around game playing and you know this con constant confusion around well what do they what do they want what do they think of me what you know what, what do they like me do they love me all this sort of stuff and we're sort of like trying to play this guessing game and um, and we're lacking clarity within ourselves but our focus is on the games that we can play to ensure that the other person comes on board with who we are and what we want and uh, and it's totally away from getting clarity over what we want as an individual it's totally focused on this external person being a certain way and uh, and you know you know we're able to game play with them to the point of manipulating or convincing them um, to want to be with us in relationship but we've lost sight of what we really want what we really want to move toward because ultimately we are seeking that validation and approval and all the rest of it um, from this external source as opposed to from ourselves. And I'm, for one, am feeling really sick of the amount of relationships out there that are totally living on the surface from two beautiful individuals who have a, such a yearning for so much depth in their connections and in their relationships, but they're so scared and they're so fearful of going first, of fully expressing who they are. And so they get caught in this trap you know, of just game playing consistently. And I'm not just talking, you know, in the very, very beginning. I know relationships that have been doing this for years and they are constantly unsure about one another. They're constantly, it's kind of this like give and take and it's kind of like, oh, you know, I, um, you know, I've been speaking to people, they're like, oh, well, but if, if I give, if I reach out to him or her, um, then they kind of lose interest. So I have to hold back and then I'll wait for them to come to me and, um, and then they're more interested in me. Okay, well, like you can have that kind of surface level game playing um, relationship, but like, is that really fulfilling? Does that feel amazing that, you know, you have to sort of, sort of mold yourself to be a certain way in order to get the um, attraction or the approval or the connection? Like, I want all of us to have a higher perspective as to what relationship even is. You know, get beyond uh, those, those games, the fear-based sort of manipulation and ultimately move towards what we really want. And I know that all of us, you know, have um, entered into to some sort of game playing behavior at one point or, or more in our lives. Um, but really we need to recognize that if that's us and we're doing that, it's coming from fear. So ask yourself, you know, what am I so afraid of? Follow your fear because what happens is when we have these fears and we turn our backs to these fears, then they end up finding a side door in some way to enter our lives. So it's super, super important to identify what's this fear? Why am I not expressing all of who I am? Why am I not, if I care for this person, why am I not like having the courage to just say that? Why am I always waiting for them to go first? What is the driving force? What is the fear? And from that place, you know, that's where we really need to, uh, you know, work on what it is. Because if you think about it, this is the scenario that I see happen time and time again. You know, there is a person that, you know, they're in a relationship, they feel a certain way about this other person, but they don't want to appear weak. They don't want to appear, you know, like they're lacking or they're needy or something like this. So they, so they don't actually express what that other person truly means to them. And, um, and the purpose is so that they can keep that connection, right? They can keep that relationship. But what happens is if you don't follow and face the fear and get beyond it and take action in what's truthful to you, <clears throat> then uh, what happens is that fear takes a side door and you end up losing that relationship because you couldn't express how, what that person truly meant to you, even though your intention was to not do that so that you could maintain the relationship. 
Your fears will manifest into reality if you don't face them and take action in spite of them. Um, and so that's just one tiny little example as to how, uh, you know, this kind of, you know, game playing plays out and it actually works against our favor to manifest the, our fears that are, you know, really the, the, the um, instigator of why we are playing games in the first place. And so I am <clears throat> absolutely hoping that you guys out there, um, you're on the same page with me, you know that relationship is not about game playing. Like if there's game playing, there's some form of competition, you're not on each other's team, you know, and that is not relationship. That is gonna be a constant tug of war, a constant cycle of ups and downs, and, um, and that is not what you're here to do. You are here to be in relationship with another extraordinary human being who absolutely is dedicated to wanting to find out the depths of who you are and you of them, and you wanna support encourage and challenge each other to your highest levels. You don't want to go around wasting each other's time playing games, staying on the surface, you know, and just playing these kind of back and forth like, you know, um, a sort of attraction like, uh, what's that? What am I, what word am I thinking of? Oh, I've got, like totally lost it. But you know, these kind of um, things that are being taught out there, you guys hit me if you if you actually are on the same wavelength and you know what I'm, I'm talking about. But it's this game playing sort of strategy when it comes to relationship. I'm telling you, the best source of attraction and connection is always your authenticity. Show people who you really are. You know, have courage, have heart. You know, stop playing games, holding back, waiting for somebody else to go first, assuming, you know, not being direct, all of these things that negate the quality and the depth that we have to, you know, spend our most quality of our time on instead of wasting it um, in these mindless, endless games that ultimately just feel totally empty. And, um, and we want to get beyond that. We want to have the courage to, to absolutely be fully self-expressive and fully open. And if you feel it, show it, you know, you don't have to hold back all the time. And um, you know what, people in this day and age, I really feel, I think we're getting better and better at, um, you know, our BS meters, you know, being able to call out somebody who's just being inauthentic, they're game playing. And um, instead of like, how we can support those people if you've got somebody like that in your life instead of like judging criticizing them and condemning them like it might seem like i'm doing right now you know instead of that recognize see through that behavior and know that they are a beautiful soul who you know absolutely yearns for the depth of connection and love that we all do but they're in a lot of fear they have a lot of insecurities and um instead of you know you know cutting that out be a leader in what's possible be a courageous lover you know express all of who you are, if you feel it, show it, give it, don't hold back. Life is not for holding back, it feels totally empty. And when you actually have the courage to express that, wow, do you feel alive, wow, do you feel amazing, and wow, do you really touch the heart of another. So that's really what I wanted to um, definitely dive into with you guys today. I hope it's been valuable. I was gonna talk about something else, but then I just like, uh, something happened and I had a conversation and I was like, uh, I'm going to talk about this. So I hope it was valuable. Um, and I definitely want to um, check in with you guys and see who's been able to join me. If you have any questions or comments or feedback on this topic or another, definitely um, let me know in the comments right now so that I can definitely engage with you. And if you haven't already, come on over and join us in the Limitless Potential Inner Circle Facebook community, where you will absolutely be surrounded by beautiful souls from across the globe who are absolutely reaching to that next level of their potential and they would support, encourage and challenge you to do just that. Um, so let me check in with you guys and uh, see who's been able to join me. Um, I just want to quickly share. So whoever stayed with me before I jump in, because um, one of the real reasons why I wanted to share this message with you guys um, is that you guys who've been following me for a while know that I was at Date With Destiny, I don't know how long ago now, must be about a month or so. And, uh, and anyway, um, on one of the evenings, you guys know that, you know, they 
most nights, every night, like six nights in a row, I didn't get to bed until like four in the morning. And uh, and then you're up again really early and you're keeping going, you know? And anyway, I opened up my book and this letter dropped out. And, um, and I opened this letter. I'm like, it didn't have, it was sealed and I couldn't remember it. And, you know, it didn't have a name or anything on it. And I was like, what on earth is this? So I, you know, I ripped it open and, and it ended up being this letter that we were asked to write that I'd completely forgotten about, but we were asked to write it to our um, future lover, you know, our future extraordinary relationship. And I'd totally forgotten about it because I think we wrote it at like two in the morning, completely sleep deprived on like day five or something. And, um, and I read it and I was just totally touched. I was completely touched by it. And um, it it really woke me up again to, you know, and this is a topic that I've been studying for a, a number of years around relationships. So I know the importance of relationship. It's no complete wake up call, but it was in this moment to recognize the power and the depth that is available to you when you really get attached to what really matters and you get beyond the surface and you recognize that you want to live life fully in every single moment with courage and depth and love and all of that amazing stuff. And um, yeah, I'm going to share with you guys this letter. I'm going to um, probably put it in one of my posts over the next couple of days and uh, you guys can read it. Um, but yeah, I, it really meant a lot to me. And, um, and uh, yeah, it definitely inspired me to just be more passionate about the game playing that's going on in our relationships. So now I definitely want to check in with you guys. So I've got Elliot and Hassani and Ram and Alexandria and Judy and Justin and Gabrielle and Jace and Bradley. Oh, thank you, Gabrielle, for those kind words. And uh, Abia and Azza and uh, oh, thank you, Abia. And Lucy's here. Awesome. And Gabrielle, games are a waste of time. Absolutely. And I think we've all wasted a lot of time in games in what area of our life? You know, games are played when we're in fear and we want somebody else to go first. You know, um, who is it? David Wood. Um, he, he's an amazing public speaker, motivational speaker. And, uh, and he says, you know, everybody else is waiting for... Everybody is waiting for somebody else to go first. You know, be that somebody who goes first rather than waiting and holding back. It doesn't feel good. It feels empty. And you guys are always hearing me say that, you know, um, action breeds confidence and courage and inaction breeds fear and doubt. So the sooner you get into action, the sooner you generate more and more courage and confidence to go for it. And the more you hold back, the more you trap yourself in fear and doubt and it's harder to get out of that cycle. So um, love that, thanks Gabrielle. And I'm loving that this is resonating with you, Lucy. And uh, Bruno's here and Lisa and Elliot. Games result in a winner and a loser. A healthy relationship is win-win. Absolutely. You've got to be, you know, your intimate relationship is the ultimate A-team. You know, you've got to be on the same team. You've got to be each other's raving fans. You know, you've got to have, you know, this third entity that you guys are creating together. So it's not me against you. It is what's best for the relationship. What's best for this third entity. And that's going to be us being true to who we are, not holding back and not having this give and take kind of relationship. Um, that is so soul draining and time wasting. And um, I want all of us to believe in the potentiality of something absolutely outstanding and extraordinary. You know, what you really yearn for. You don't have to be in these, in these, boring relationships that are just kind of just surface level and you always feel like you've got to hold on to your own uh, needs or something or fight for them. It's a horrible circumstance and I wish for all of us to have an extraordinary quality of relationship in our lives. So thanks Elliot and Gary's here and Mitke, Mit Mitik. I don't know how to say your name, but I love it. And David and Jocelyn and Jeff and Vince and Jace. Yep, fear, face everything and rise. Boom, love it. And Caroline and Mully and Jeff, commitment, absolutely. Yeah, definitely, you know, um, 
I think that we need first and foremost to have a commitment to ourselves to show up with integrity as to who we are. Be true to who you are. Don't play mind games, even if it's just you being committed to being your truest, most authentic version of yourself. You know, that is living a regret-free life. When you know who you are, you show up as it, you don't hold back and you give fully and you open yourself up to receiving, you have no regrets. You know, that's the kind of life that we need to be committed to. And then obviously um, in our relationships, if we can have that kind of commitment to ourselves, we can generate it with another human being. If you can't make that commitment to yourself to be fully authentic and show up as the real you, no matter how scary it might be, you know, you walk with courage and determination to be true and authentic, then that is what will allow you to generate that with another human being. Um, without it, you, you really can't have that commitment. You know, you're always gonna be committed for First to yourself and your own need needs or fears you know if you don't make that commitment to your authenticity and courage you'll be committed to your fears and that will always come over and above another human being in relationship so love that Jeff and Sergio and uh, yeah Lisa tit for tat you know that give and take relationship like that tallying up like who went first last time or or who gave love first time like Get over that. That is such a waste of yours and my energy. And um, you're built for so much more, you know? So, you know, for me personally, I can't think of anything worse than being in that kind of relationship. I would much rather be single um, and than, than have that kind of give and take. It's got to be authentic. It's got to be loving. It's got to, we've got to be able to be fully expressive of everything that goes on for us right here, right now, without holding back. You know, that's just a waste. As I keep saying a million, billion, times. Um, and Marco's here and Todd and Kelly. Awesome. And Ram, it's important to keep it simple. Need to have clarity on our priorities, which ensures we do not waste time on game playing. Game playing is simply an energy drainer. Absolutely, Ram. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, spot on. Keep it simple. Just be real. Do you know the most simplest life lived and the most truly fulfilling one is one where you drop all of the masks, all the rules, all the game playing, and you just show up as you wherever you go. It's so energy inducing to just be you. So absolutely, Ram. Um, couldn't agree more. And Cynthia's here and uh, Puff Diddy and uh, Tomican and Sam's here and James and Marco. Third dimensional relationships, absolutely, yes. Get out of the one dimensional, two dimensional, get into that third dimensional relationship where we have this third entity. It's not just you or me, you know, or just me and my rules, um, but definitely getting into that, that, that realm of something greater than just us, you know, and ideally, you know, what does your ideal relationship, what does it contribute to the world on a global scale? Like, how does it inspire others to step into more of their love and out away from gain? playing and show them the potentiality of something actually fulfilling and extraordinary you know um absolutely i love that marco and uh sam i'm loving that this is resonating with you and ricky and linda and jace thoughts of doubt and fear are pathways to failure boom yes absolutely that's so so true and uh Ram, game playing is like a very short-term drug giving uh, pseudo-happiness and turns out uh, eventually is a long-term slow poison, killing good potential relationships. Just be authentic and true to the self. Absolutely. I'm loving your words of wisdom here today, Ram. Thank you so much for sharing. And you're spot on. Like I said, you know, our biggest fears, you know, those fears that are what keeps us in game playing and holding back, you know, um, they end up manifesting. They end up taking a side door when we turn our back to them and just think game playing is going to work out. Um, they end up manifesting by killing the relationship potential, like you're saying there, Ram. You know, I love how you put that. It's slowly poisoning it. All your game playing, every time you do that, you kill the trust, you kill the beauty of what could be. And uh, yeah, so we need to be absolutely true to ourselves and authentic, like you're saying, Ram. That's beautiful. And uh, Tristan's here and Michael 
And uh, Ram, wasting time in game playing is a big injustice to the lovely God's gift called life, the essence of which is love. Absolutely. You know, stop wasting our lives um, on, yeah, on just game playing and not being real. The sooner you step into your authenticity, the sooner you start to actually live your life and you stop wasting your time and the time of those people around you, particularly the people that love you most and that you want to build an extraordinary quality of intimate relationship with. Absolutely, Ram. And Julie's here and Cynthia. Awesome. Thanks for sharing with Max. That's awesome. And Christopher's here. I hope all you guys who are just um, jumping in um, definitely catch a recording today and get a ton of value from today's message. Um, and I'm absolutely, as always, sending you all of my love of light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I hope it's absolutely amazing and beautiful and I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for everybody who's been able to join me and for you guys who um, will definitely catch the recording at a better time because I'm jumping on on a random weird time a little bit later today, just testing it out and, uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Much love.